We're back with this week's Tech Tuesday report. Engineers at IBM are aiming to achieve a quantum advantage within two years. It's a milestone quantum computer that developers have been pursuing for decades. Quantum supercomputers can perform calculations at a high, higher speeds than current supercomputers that could lead to advances in the fields of chemistry, material science or particle physics, and artificial intelligence. The scientists at the IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center in New York are working on prototypes right now. So really I think, you know, everyone is talking all about AI today these days and I think the really important message to take home though is that quantum is part of that whole narrative. Computation is what we want to advance and improve as a whole. And that includes classical traditional computing, that includes AI, and that's going to include quantum computing as well. Normal computers use binary language, reading information in the form of ones and zeros, but quantum computers can read ones and zeros at the same time, making them far faster at processing information. Some really exciting applications areas, which we are looking at quantum computing, and the industry really is looking at quantum computing to, to impact are in materials discovery, and you know this can obviously encompass areas of uh, drug discovery and uh, uh, better batteries, all these di different types of types of things. Where really the core element though is understanding chemistry better, right? Understanding molecular structure better. Scientists at the U.S. Department of Energy say the difference between a quantum level and normal binary computing is like seeing everything in our world with the naked eye compared to seeing and understanding everything at a tiny microscopic level.